Hey, I'm Geeky Pastimes, and in today's video, I want to talk about my thoughts and impressions of Vanguard Zombies. I've got a chance to play it today. I've been playing it for a little while, and I'm not loving it. I don't like making negative videos, but I feel like I really wanted to make some Zombies content, and I don't know what else to say about it. It's just not great. So in this video, I'm going to go through the positives and negatives of it and talk about, you know, some of the things that I maybe hope that they change in the future, or some of the places where I think they've made the wrong decisions so far. In more positive news, I have played some of the campaign in multiple player really loving them so far definitely looking forward to playing more of that i'm going to play a lot more of the multiplayer but yeah zombies was something i was really looking forward to and i think it's a massive disappointment so we'll start off with some positives we'll start off with some of the good things about this first of all the occult aesthetic is pretty cool like the way the perk machines look and all that sort of thing all of the skulls everywhere it does look pretty cool like it's got a good look to it there's also a lot of voice lines which is something that was missing from black ops cold war it didn't feel like the characters had that much to say um the operators didn't have much to say and you didn't have the characters like banter back and forth now there's like constant talking almost too much it kind of blends into the background noise to the point where it kind of gets a little bit annoying actually with just how much there is but i think if you're into that and you want to find out more about the characters and stuff like that they say a lot so hopefully there'll be loads of snippets for people who are super invested in the lore also i quite like the mystery box changes where now you get guns that are sometimes pack punched so you've got like a chance of getting something that's pack punched and since the mystery box is still 950 but pack Pack punch is really expensive it's like seven and a half thousand for the first one um it's actually like makes the mystery box more of an enticing kind of gamble to try and get something that's already been pack punched and save yourself a bunch of money uh that's something that black ops cold war didn't really do like i didn't really use the mystery box hardly at all other than to try and get wonder weapons but yeah that's quite cool that now you've got a chance of getting something that's like a level three pack punch gun that's awesome now that's about all i can say for the positives that's like the only things i liked about the game and that's really depressing so let's start talking about the negatives and i apologize this is going to be a bit of a rant it's going to be quite a long list if you like the video don't forget to like and subscribe maybe do that now before you get to you know the ranty bit and you forget to do it at the end because this is going to take a while so the first one it's really muddy looking and it's kind of hard to see at first i was like oh cool it's like moody and atmospheric and then once you're playing and you've got quite a few zombies about it's actually just kind of hard to see everything the way the gun does recoil where it sort of shakes all over the place makes it hard to see there's loads of muzzle flash um the, it's quite dark and it's kind of in a smoky way the zombies are the same color as a lot of the background it's not colorful at all like black ops cold war had this amazing colorful palette this doesn't at all it's just very very dreary very very dark it's kind of difficult to see what's going on and it's just miserable looking it doesn't look cool at all like none of the maps look really amazing which is a real shame second thing the first hour is unbelievably easy so while you're going up the first sort of 10 11 levels is really really easy you're going to be able to play it like without really thinking but it still takes quite a while and that means that every time you play the game you're going to have that kind of setting up phase of where you're trying to get to the point where it gets a bit more difficult because that's the only thing to do is to try and get to the point where it gets difficult um and it's just going to be boring because there's nothing really to challenge you there's nothing really to do now i get that they want to make this accessible and i've talked about in my videos about wanting to make games easy but what i was trying to get out was that it's good if everyone can experience all of the content in this there is no content beyond a challenge it's like pushing yourself to see how difficult you can make it and at the moment it's far too easy for far too long so it just feels like there's nothing really to do the next thing is that the pack punch the crafting bench and the mystery box are all right at the start as soon as you spawn so normally in a zombies map you'd like go and like turn the power on or find the mystery box or stuff like that build the pack punch machine or something and you don't do any of that in this it's just kind of all laid out there for you so it feels like even one of the small objectives you'd have at the beginning of a game normally you don't have you literally are just thrown straight into okay open these handful of doors these handful of portals and then make money and that's it like there's nothing else to do and that's a real shame it's also when i was talking about the aesthetic and stuff like that it's a shame that the mystery box looks just like the same as it always does i quite liked it in black ops 4 when i had the really cool looking one and the pack punch machine just looks like it always does which i think is a bit of a wasted opportunity because the perk machines look so cool the sta next thing is that the stalingrad hub map is incredibly limited there's barely anything to explore in there and there's nothing to do in the areas that you do unlock there's like a perk machine in each area and that's it and once you've unlocked the sort of routes to each of the perk machines that's it like there's nothing else to do i thought from the way they were talking there was going to be like this massive map that would be exploring and finding these little scenes finding out what's happened finding intel and stuff like that there's nothing as far as i can tell there's one tablet that you can go every round to get a bit of intel where someone talks 
for a little bit about the um, Dark Eve entities talking it. And then there's a radio where you get some of the humans talking, and that's it. Like, that's all there is to explore in a map. The perk machines are those two places to get intel. And intel isn't even saved in the menu or anything, so you can't go back and listen to it. You can't go back and read what it is. It's just literally you have to try and listen to it while playing the game and just sort of stand around awkwardly and listen to it. It's not a good way of doing it. It's not a lot of fun. Black Ops Cold War did it much better by giving you at least a menu where even though there was maybe a bit too much of the story was in Intel, at least you could go back and read it at your own pace. But you can't do that here. You can't like choose which bits of Intel you're going to get or anything like that. I'm not sure if the Intel repeats. I haven't played enough for that yet. But it definitely, uh, it's, not a, it's not something that makes me want to find out more about the story or anything like that. Next thing is that the objectives get boring really fast. I hate being so negative all the way through this. I'm really sorry. This feels like a proper moan. But the objectives got boring like after I'd done each one of them once, to be honest. I'd done each one of them once and it was like, oh, okay, I kind of get that. And then it's like, now you do them again. Now do them again. Now do them again. It's like before I'd exfilled for the first time, I was already sick to death of the objectives. I wasn't like, oh, cool, this one's a harvest or oh, cool, this one's a transport or whatever. It was just like, oh, good, I'm going to have to do this again. And like all of them are just kind of dull. They're all very, very basic. They're all very, very simple. There's no cool like things to do in them. It's just tedious. Like at least in Outbreak, some of them had some like cool different things, like cool different challenges in them. This is very, very, very boring. And most of the areas that they put you in to do them are very, very small. Um, so when they said, oh, sometimes you'll be in like a, two parts of a building or maybe you'll, sometimes you'll be in a corridor, more often than not, you're just in the corridor pretty much. And it's just very, very boring play spaces that all look kind of the same. Speaking of that, the maps are just not interactive. Like you've got the, um, in Shino Numi, you've got like the flogger area. You can't use the flogger, of course. You can't do anything with it. There's not the destruction in the maps that you see in multiplayer and stuff like that. Or if there is, I didn't notice it. And I suppose you don't need to take cover as much. It's not as useful. There's just nothing happening in the maps. There's nothing interesting going on and it feels like everything's kind of been very haphazardly put there the perk machines just look awkwardly placed and zombies just come out of portals like in walls and stuff they just come out of random places it seems really really bizarre the next bit is that whenever you're teleporting to these maps, because every time you open a door, you're going to have to go to a portal and then go to an objective somewhere. Every time you do it, you have to go through a load screen. So this was a little bit annoying in Outbreak, but at least in Outbreak, you're only doing this every like six, seven minutes. If you're trying to go through the, uh, Fan quickly, you're going to be doing this all the time and you'll end up spending a huge amount of time just waiting for portals, just waiting for your friends to accept portals, then waiting for the portals to load. Me and a friend were playing it on Xbox Series X, still taking ages to load it's not like we were playing on like old hardware or anything like that it's just taking a long while even if you're loading into the same map so sometimes you'll be in stalingrad and then you'll go for a portal to another area in stalingrad and it still takes a while to load which just seems stupid like that should be so much snappier next problem which is probably one of the biggest ones is that there's nothing really to work towards obviously we knew there was no easter egg that was a big disappointment but i thought oh maybe it'll be fun to do like some of the cool challenges maybe it'll be fun to like see how far you can get and all of that kind of thing and it's like it's not really exciting to do any of that because the objectives don't change as you go on they just get you know a little bit harder i guess there's more zombies um and that's it like there's nothing else to do the challenge is there's like 18 challenges i think and there's not even a dark ops challenge set or anything like that and the challenges are all really basic as like kill so many of this type of zombie there's just nothing really to do there's nothing to build there's no side easter eggs to solve as far as we know there's just like nothing it seems really sh strange that there's kind of a zombies mode with so little point to it beyond just try and get to a higher round especially when the first few rounds are so unbelievably boring Next point, the enemies don't feel new or different. Like, the enemies just aren't interesting. The only really new enemy is the big guy with the minigun. Well, that's the only one I've seen. Maybe there's, like, some other enemy at, like, round 20 or something. I haven't gone to a stupidly high level yet because it just takes so long. Um... The guy with the minigun isn't an interesting enemy to fight. It's not like the Megaton where it's cool and he's sort of split and sometimes he can be fast and do melee stuff. He just stands there with a gun and shoots you. He doesn't do that much damage. He takes quite a lot of hits to kill. And then when you do enough damage, he just sort of suddenly appears dead. There's not like a cool animation or anything like that. They just don't do anything. You've got the fire zombies that go on fire and come towards you and explode. 
They're very, very similar to the zombies that did that in Black Ops Cold War. There's no real difference. And all of the other zombies are just normal zombies. So there's no new exciting enemies to fight at all, which is really a shame. Um, the next one is that the artifacts are literally just a field upgrade. So the artifacts I thought might seem cool. I thought maybe they'd do some cool twists on the things that we like, like Ring of Fire and Aether Shroud and stuff. And it's like, nope, they are just a field upgrades. Like the only difference is there's a little animation when you activate them and that's it. There's nothing else. The next point, and like we're getting to near the end now of my little moan, and I apologize for how moany this video is. The next point is that the whole thing just has a real lack of polish. And it pains me to say stuff like this. So I know obviously developers have worked on this really hard, and there's loads of stuff going on that I definitely don't understand. And it's probably very complicated in ways I don't understand. But it feels really janky. Like when you activate your field upgrades, they don't quite activate, even if you're playing in solo, they don't quite activate where you think they are because there's like a little bit of lag. Sometimes when you're firing guns they just sort of fire in a weird rate where it feels like there's sort of missing a frame sometimes there's like zombies will just randomly run in circles sometimes it seems like they're not pathed very well to find their way around the map and stuff like that sometimes zombies will come out of portals and they'll be floating a little bit above the ground they won't actually be on the ground just everything feels a little bit janky to be honest, I said this when I was playing, and it sounds harsh, but I think it's true. It feels a bit more like the first-person mode of Dead Ops Arcade than it does like Black Ops Cold War Zombies. The first time I played D-Machine, I thought it felt like really polished. It felt like, you know, a new Zombies experience. It seemed really cool. It's on a new engine. Everything like that was exciting. But this just feels like it's kind of been cobbled together and not very well. It's kind of shocking that Treyarch have made this, considering how well they did with Black Ops Cold War Zombies, in my opinion. How cool they made it look, how well it worked, all of that kind of stuff this just doesn't look or feel great at all and then my final point my final negative about this is that from what they've said in an interview of GameSpot that was very good and from what they talked about on their blog they're not really planning on giving us anything new for months we're going to get some new objectives and new artifacts I'm guessing the objectives and artifacts will probably be quite similar to the things that we already had in Black Ops Cold War Zombies so it sounds like we're not really going to get anything new for zombies like until at least february they said like oh the main quest will be set up in season one which sounds like the main quest will come in season two so we're gonna be waiting a long while for any kind of easter egg and if the easter egg is just on this map or on a map like this i think it's going to be pretty terrible like i really don't have any faith in the kind of mechanics of this in the way the enemies work in the art style any of that stuff i don't think it's strong enough to make me excited for a main quest this is to the point where i thought i was going to be playing zombies all this weekend i'm kind of done with it already i'm kind of i don't particularly want to play anymore i probably will like when my other friends get uh, unlocked and they can play some i'll probably head back into it and try it and maybe do a couple of the challenges but i definitely can't see myself putting a lot of time into this I'm already debating maybe, uh, like I was playing this on Xbox, I might not pick up Vanguard on PC because like what's the point like zombies will probably be the main thing I play on PC, I'll probably just play Warzone to be honest so I might not bother. It's a real shame, like it's a real shame that this isn't good, it isn't fun. Like I said I've been enjoying the multiplayer that I've played so far, I've really enjoyed the campaign that I've played so far but yeah zombies has really let the side down and I'm very very upset about that anyway apologies for the rant i promise not to do too many of these videos it's just moaning like for 13 minutes that's a real shame but if you did like the video don't forget to like and subscribe or maybe if you just agree with what i've been saying about vanguard zombies like and subscribe and make sure you turn your notifications on there's gonna be a lot more videos coming about like battlefield 2042 halo infinite forza horizon riders republic lots and lots of good stuff normally a lot more positive and i will be doing stuff for multiplayer and call of duty and obviously warzone with the new map there's gonna be loads of stuff like easter eggs and stuff there's actually i just put a video up this morning of some new easter eggs in warzone so go check that out thank you very much for watching and goodbye